with the UTPA basketball team halfway through their season, the Bronx played two home games January 9th and January 11th. UTPA played the University of Iowa Vandals January 9th. The Vandals scored first, taking an eight-point lead in the first five minutes of the game. UTPA started catching up and tied Idaho three minutes into the half, but couldn't hold on to it, ending the half with a score of UTPA 34 and UI 36. In the second half, the Bronx tied the score again at 61 to 61, with only two minutes left, scoring back and forth and ending the second half with a score of 67 to 67, sending the game to overtime. The Vandals took the lead, but UTPA came back, scoring free throws to take the lead again. Both teams tied again with a score of 73-73, sending the game into a second overtime. UTPA jumped out, taking a six-point lead, but Idaho came back, scoring nine points and only being down by one point, with only four seconds left. The Vandals went in for a layup, scoring the game-winning point, ending the game 86-85. Hey, you know, the, the, the only thing that changes uh, the reality of it is to change the reality of it. You know, it's, it's not a perception, okay, it's a reality. And, and for me to say to the guy, oh, it's going to get better, it isn't going to get better. Until you change the decisions you make and, and, and some of the free throws you miss and the, and, and the simple plays that, that, that we don't convert, the, the, the open shot, you know what, until you do that, it doesn't change. So, you know, if you're smart, intelligent at that time, you've got a chance. Maybe I got to get smarter too and, and understand that we're not that smart. So I've got to maybe try to get more timeouts and stop when I see things going wrong. But uh, we don't seem to be able to think ourselves through it. The Bronx played against Seattle University Red Hawks, January 11. The Red Hawks broke out, taking an 11 point lead early in the game. With UTPA scoring a three pointer, finally adding points to the score ending the first half with a score of 17 to 30. With the Bronx trying to catch up to Seattle's 13 point lead, the Vandals kept on adding to their lead, ending the game with UTPA 46, Seattle 64. This is the Bronx 10th straight loss, having an 0-3 record in the conference and a 4-14 overall. Shoot better than 30% from the field and uh, shoot better than 16% from three. I mean, we just gotta make shots, honestly. Uh, I mean, I, I, obviously that team out there, they're big, but we played against big teams before and we found a way to score, so. I don't know, we just gotta make shots, score. Keep running the offense and score. No, our, de everything, our defense was fine. We played we play good defense. It's, the, the problem right now is just putting the basketball in the hole. We played good, they were bigger. We held them to one shot most of the night, so we did a good job defensively, and we, we didn't let them run their stuff, and, the, the number one kid, the leading scorer in the conference, he didn't go off for a crazy big night. He had 35 a couple of games ago. So, I mean, we did a good job containing him on defense. It's just, we got to get it going offensively as a team. 46 points, 46 points, yeah, we, you can't beat anybody with 46 points. The next home game will be January 30th at 7 p.m. in the Fieldhouse. For more about Bronx basketball, go to the link below. For more videos, subscribe to the Pan American YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. For the Pan American, I'm Michael Aguilar.